Hello and welcome. So the other day I received a comment with someone asking me how do I have so much money? Did I purchase in-game credits? No, I did not. I just don't have a life. So I don't even think that I have that many credits. If we actually look at my stats, at the moment I have 26 million which for some players may be so much and for others be like that's rookie numbers but if we take a look at my stats we can see that look credit spends on cars 236 million credit spends on tuning is 49 million which is lower than i expected but then if we come down to credits acquired we have a total of 329 million 957,890 credits acquired not a single one of them was purchased but all through money grinding and today i'm just gonna take you along with me on the current methods that i use to make money in grand Turismo 7 now these aren't the fastest but i find them super easy super fun and overall just it makes grinding exciting so for both of the methods i'm going to show you we are using one vehicle and that is the nissan r92 cp if you are looking for other money making methods for grand Turismo 7 check out my channel it is littered with money making methods so you're bound to find one that works for you so firstly we're gonna go over the 800 performance points build for this vehicle and then we'll go over the 700 performance points build so as follows for the 800 performance points build we see that we have racing hard tires now you can purchase wet tires and intermediates just have them because depending on your mood depending on which event you want to do well you're gonna need different tires so you can just copy down the suspension settings and just the entire setup as you see it on screen now and this is the setup that we are going to use for the 800 performance points events which for money grinding that is going to be sardinia as well as spa spa is a one hour event sardinia you can knock it out in sub 25 minutes as i said it's not the fastest method but it is super easy so with the nissan r92 cp around sardinia i find this vehicle super easy to use on the hardest difficulty you are going to be able to lap every single opponent it's such a blast and with sardinia you don't have to worry about weather coming and ruining anything you can stay on racing hard for the entire race you can do a no stop strat using this vehicle around sardinia making the earnings super easy and super simple by putting the opponent's difficulty over to hard it does make it a bit more challenging but honestly it's nothing that's gonna make you stress or think oh you know what i'm not really gonna be able to do this or I'm, i might struggle that is not the case with sardinia why i say you rather do this if you have let's say a couple of hours to just waste money grinding well sardinia is your way to go you can do the escudo around kyo expressway but with the wtc 600 around tokyo expressway there's just so many small issues that can make you lose your clean race bonus whereas with sardinia i can ram every single car off the circuit cut as many corners as possible and i'm still gonna cross the line with a clean race bonus except if you overtake under yellow flag which i have never seen occur around sardinia so that's the only way you can actually lose your clean race bonus on this event now when it comes to using the r92 cp for the first stint we are going to be running the vehicle on fuel map level 4 you should be seeing yourself set lap times around the 1 minute 36 1 minute 35 second per lap mark but once you do that at the end of let's say lap i think it's lap 8 then you are just gonna head on into the pits you're gonna let the car refuel all the way just re refuel the car all the way up to 100 percent 
change out your racing hard tires and put on racing hards you only need racing hards you don't need softs or mediums hards are perfect and work absolutely fine so then you are gonna come out and just complete the race but you're gonna set your fuel map over to fuel map level 3 now when you actually reach your final lap you should have enough fuel to set your fuel map over to fuel map level 1 and do an absolutely insane lap for your final lap and after that as i said you should be able to come in and finish the event in just under 25 minutes now there are vehicles that go a lot faster around the circuit and i will be making videos on those cars but for now this is what i use almost on a daily basis so we earn ourselves 727 thousand which isn't the highest earning event but as i said if you if you have a lot of time to kill and want to money grind back to back to back this really is the best event to use then we have the wtc 700 around them one now when it comes to tuning settings you can see the difference on screen right now and you'll notice that the suspension doesn't change throughout this video and that is because the suspension I just have it dialed up for you to use it around any circuit. If you are unhappy with it, by all means change it, it's not going to affect your performance points rating. Then the main things that change are your downforce, your ECU settings, your ballast as well as your power restrictor and whether or not you are using a turbocharger. So those are the biggest things that change. So once you copy down the settings, you are ready to go. So now for the WTC 700 around them one, super easy, set your vehicle over to fuel map level one and leave it there for the entirety of the events. Since you're going up against group four vehicles, yes, it does feel a bit cheap. I know people complain and don't like it, but honestly, when it comes to money grinding, you aren't really looking for a challenge. You just want to make money as fast as possible. And the R92 CP is actually one of the fastest vehicles to use around this event now they are faster but as i said this is really up there with being one of the fastest now this car just left a legendary dealership so when it will come back i'm not 100 percent sure but as i said if it just left so you're probably gonna have to wait a good amount of time before this vehicle comes in if you still want to purchase this vehicle but as i said you do not need this vehicle there are a whole lot of other better and faster money methods out there but this is just what i use on an almost daily basis so around lam one the vehicle sets sub four minute lap times which is honestly perfection if you if you have a vehicle that has great fuel efficiency and can set lap times around the four minute mark around the wtc 700 around lam one you are golden no matter the difficulty no matter what the weather does you are going to win the events the only way you can lose your clean race bonus is the same way as Sardinia if you overtake under yellow flag that is your clean race bonus gone but people do actually spin out well the AI do spin out so be careful so don't jeopardize wasting half an hour of your life to lose out on a clean race bonus so this rewards you 825,000 credits after half an hour of gameplay and honestly if I know okay I only have like half an hour to money grind this is the event I go for so these are the two events that when it comes to money grinding are my favorite right now so yeah let me know in the comment section below what is your go to what events do you use and what car do you use and i just want to test yours out and see how it is so with all this being said if you guys do go on to enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more grants and more seven content and i'll see you in the next one peace